Tony, why do you guys feel strongly that this is the proper course of action? Well, you know, uh, around the league, uh, you know, people are taking a stance, and I guess they're making this day uh, uh, and yesterday and today as well. Uh, are certain teams that decided to to make a stance. Uh, basically, we we are supporting the A's decision to not play today. Uh, you know, and so that's the reason why we're not playing today. Uh, we, we're basically just supporting uh, the A's uh, decision to uh, to not play the game. Was there any discussion in your clubhouse about taking that initiative? Yes, we. Uh, Yes, uh, to be to be frank with you, uh, yesterday uh, we all got here and uh, nothing had transpired or, uh, throughout the NBA nor Major League Baseball. Uh, we were on the field working, and you know I was not even aware of of things that were transpiring across uh, sports at large. And um, when I got in after BP, uh, I actually had a text from one of you guys. Uh, asking whether or not we were playing. So I, I really even wasn't aware of what was happening. So the NBA had decided to to, to do what they did uh, collectively. And then uh, some major league teams had followed suit uh, as well. Uh, so yesterday it kind of happened fast. And it was, you know, we, we heard about after BP, the A's were having the discussion. And, and so we had some, some conversations amongst ourselves. Um, we expected to play um, yesterday, and, and uh, we were just kind of in limbo as well. But yesterday we played. We played yesterday's game, and and I showed up today um, with the anticipation of playing baseball. Uh, but we support the A's uh, decision. Evan. So Tony, I, I hate to put you in this position, but yesterday, what he said that. Um, there were some individual conversations with um, the black and African, the black players and staff, um, Taylor, Willie, you, Krabby. Uh, was there a team meeting at any point in time, or were they just individual meetings about this yesterday? We we spoke yesterday uh, with Woody. Uh, the 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 individuals that you just mentioned, uh, Krabby wasn't in that. Uh, with 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 myself and Willie and uh, Taylor, but yes, we we talked about uh, things as they were transpiring. Like I said, after BP was when kind of you know we kind of got hit with all of this, so it was kind of thrust upon us kind of abruptly, and um, and so we we talked about it, and um, you know, we we felt okay playing the game. I, I was I was okay playing the game. You're you know. Willie was in a difficult position because he's on the IL and it's, yeah. it's hard for, for somebody to take a stance in that situation. You're a, you're a coach, mm -hmm. um, and I, I would think that you know you're in that situation. You probably say this is this is a player's decision. Um, how difficult a decision is it to, to get to that point where you say we're we're willing to play? Well, you know, everyone's different, and and each each individual has to follow their heart, and, and they have to do what they're convicted by. Uh, you know, I, I felt for Willie because <clears throat> Willie and Taylor has kind of been put in a situation to where they feel like they have to make decisions, uh, not necessarily based on something that they've thought out or or what they're convicted by. Yesterday just came upon us very abruptly, and so do you just follow suit with what the league is doing? Or do you follow your heart? And uh, you know, so I felt like you know the discussions that we had, and we kind of hit on that, and they were okay with with the decisions of of us playing the game. And there was there was was there any further conversation like after the game or earlier today about whether or not you guys would take the first step, or was it always going to be basically in the hands of the A's? Well, you know, basically. We played yesterday, and I didn't. I didn't give it thought. Me personally, I can speak for myself. I didn't give it any thought that today that games would even be canceled, uh, personally. And so I came here today with the expe expectation of, of playing a baseball game. And um, and once we got here, then we found out, you know, the situation that that was transpiring, and and you know, this is where we are now. Thank you very much, Tom. You're welcome. Other questions, Levi. 
Tony, it seems uh, not just in the team statement, but also hearing you talk and, and in, in your answers to Evan as well, that, um, that is, you guys have made it very clear that this is the A's decision. Um, are you, uh, I guess a two-part question. One, was there, is it, I feel like I'm re-asking Evan's question a little bit here, but it's a slightly different nuance. Was there any discussion among the team once that decision had been made by the A's to go, yeah, you know what, us two, this is a joint decision. What they're doing, yes, they made the decision first, but we are also making the decision. As mm -hmm. opposed to, it, it feels to me like the messaging coming from the team is, we support them, but that was their decision. It, is there... Is there any further explanation you can? Yeah. Well, I, I guess I guess you know. I, I would have to say that like this. Um, I, I think if we if we're really going to be realistic about things, uh, you know, in, in each and every clubhouse, you know, no one's going to be a hundred percent unified on any decision that's made. That's that's the reality that we're in. That's the society that we're living in at the time. Uh, however, um, I was okay with playing. Um, I didn't push the issue. I'm African American. I'm black. I, did, I didn't come in and say, hey, we shouldn't be playing the game today. Uh, and neither, neither of our uh, African-American or black players did that. Uh, so we came to the ballpark today with the expectation of playing baseball. Um, you know, we've been internally discussing, having one-on-one uh, -on -one discussions. Uh, and we've met as a group, uh, not as of late, uh, but to discuss these issues that are, that are pressing our society right now. And, and trust me, you know, it's, it's heartfelt. We feel what's what's happening in society. Um, there's no sugarcoating it. There's there's no, you know, getting around it. Uh, it's an issue that has to be dealt with. Uh, what's the best and proper way to deal with things? No one has the correct answer. Um, so, you know, everyone's everyone has the liberty and the right to kind of handle things their own way, and and that's what we're dealing with in society. And so. You know, we respect the A's decision. Uh, we came to play baseball uh, today. Uh, we, we were prepared to play. And uh, we're not playing, but, you know, there's no disrespect to, to the A's for their decision. And I don't think that, that anything should be held against us as well if, if we came to play the game of baseball. It had nothing to do with whether or not we are in or out on, on how we feel with what's going on in our country. Uh, and the temperature of, of society right now. Uh, obviously, uh, for me, uh, I'm very broken by it. Um, I'm not. I'm not happy with things that are, that are happening in society. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we have to deal with those things. We have to have the right conversations, and we have to do things that that are going to have impact. And uh, and so we're trying to have conversations. Um, things don't happen overnight. Uh, this is an issue that's been in our in our in our country for. 400 years. It's not going to change overnight, and I'm, I'm well aware of that. Um, but we, we just have to make sure that each and every day we chip away at it. It's, it's not just one day. It's not just if we don't play today and then we play tomorrow. It's not just one day. You know, we have to continue to chip away at this issue. We have to continue to have the necessary conversations and hopefully affect change uh, long term. And so, I mean, I, you know, I think we're, we're dealing with it maybe different than than, than, than someone would perceive that we should. Uh, but I know that inside this clubhouse, uh, we're dealing with the issues uh, with, the, with the players that we have and, and, the, and the ideas and the concepts that, that, are, that are transpired in this, in this environment, in this clubhouse. Right on. Thank you. And I guess the last question is, yeah. um, I mean, is, you talked about Taylor and, and Willie, that it's not, they're not in a very fair position right now. Right, that they're being asked to sort of make these decisions for an entire team. And you've got one guy that's on the injured list and another guy that's pitched yes. like six, seven big beginnings. Yes. Um, uh, how much responsibility do you feel on a personal level to sort of, you know, I, I, you're a coach and mm -hmm. Krabby's a coach. Like, do you feel that there is uh, perhaps maybe the, the, the lack of um, diversity in the game necessarily it makes this a more difficult set of waters to navigate in situations like this? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be much difficult, uh, much more difficult to be uh, unified across the board. Um, 
you know, let's be real. You know, we're minorities in, in the game of baseball. There, there's not a, there's, we don't represent the majority. Uh, you know, the NBA has a different scenario. Uh, you know, it's 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 a highly black. You know, it's 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 probably I don't know, 85, 90 percent black. And so, yeah, that's a different platform, a different voice, a different uh, amount of power that they have uh, to affect change and to, and to be unified. They're in a bubble. They can have discussions as a league. Uh, we're, baseball, we're all over the country. Uh, it's hard to have discussions as a league uh, as far as, you know, making sure that we do something in a unified way. So it's left up to each club to, to deal with their, their ball club and, and the temperature in their clubhouse and the characters that are in their clubhouse that that have the authority to, to do and say certain things. Uh, we have two young black players in our clubhouse, and <clears throat> they don't <clears throat> they don't <clears throat> excuse me they haven't um, established uh, that level of of um, of a voice yet uh, uh, to to kind of dictate uh, what we do and what we don't do at this point. So it's tough for them and. Um, but we just hope that as, as a team that we just we support each other and we have the conversations within our clubhouse and it's, we have to do things uh, collectively, but we, we do it in-house. And uh, some things that are happening behind closed doors don't necessarily get out into the public all the time. But I believe that we, we, we're trying to move in the right direction here. Everybody wants the right thing to happen uh, in society. We want to be a part of change. Uh, Guys have, have, have agreed that if we do something collectively outside that can have a big time impact to where we add our time and our resources to get out into the community, which is difficult right now because of the situation that we're in with the pandemic. Uh, but, you know, we've had those discussions and, and we, we, we have a desire to impact change. Last thing for me, do you, do you feel like those two guys are getting enough backup from their white teammates or do you feel like it's more of a situation where they are and I'm, I'm not saying that, that mm -hmm. there's a clubhouse full of racists, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying do you feel like there is should be more of an onus on some of the white <clears throat> teammates to be more vocal and more active in backing them up or do you think that they are already doing a, a good job of that? No, uh, the majority of our clubhouse I, I would definitely say stands behind uh, Willie and Taylor uh, and, and the whole situation that's going on I mean you're going to have different different opinions uh, to, to to try to think that you're going to have a hundred percent consensus on on an issue is is, is is pretty much asinine so I mean to be realistic about it you know we have the majority of the of the clubhouse is, is on board with 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 making sure that we support uh, uh, Taylor and, and Willie and and the issues at hand and and take a stand together uh, but that's why we have to have conversations and that's why we have to be diligent in those conversations and, and listen to both sides of the story and, and, and be empathetic toward each other. And hopefully if, if we can respectfully continue to have conversations and express our differences and listen to one another, then maybe we can move forward in a positive way. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. Hey, Tony, uh, you kind of alluded to it. You know, boycotting a game may not accomplish a lot, but it's what you guys do with your own time. Uh, that seems like the, the, the pivotal step here in all of these boycotts sports-wide is doing, some, doing something beyond this. Correct? Yes. And that, how, how, how does that happen? Yeah, and that's what we're saying. Right now, we're kind of crippled because we can't get out into the community. But that's the things that, that we've this, this discussing as a team. Uh, how can we get together and impact our community? Uh, players have a lot of resources at this level financially. Uh, players' times, because the players' faces mean something. Their names mean something to our fans uh, and into the community. So we, we're not able to physically get out into the community right now. And so that's kind of on a stall. Uh, we're, we're kind of on strict protocols here. Uh, so all, all that we're capable of doing right now is making sure that, we land the, that we're laying the groundwork within the clubhouse so that when the temperature is right and we can get out into the community and really have an impact, 
then we've already made sure that we're unified in, with the, amongst ourselves so we can get out and do that. And so we, we've had that discussion, and, and, we, and our players are, are really, really on board with that. So, I mean, that's, that's how we change the tone. Um, and I think that's, that's where we're at right now. I think we, we're having one-on-one -on -one discussions, um, and we're just talking about the issue at large. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. One or two more for Tony. Anything? Okay, guys, that will, uh, okay, Chris and then Evan. Come in. Sorry about that. Um, do you, uh, you, with the Dodgers coming into town, do you know if you or anybody else on the team has uh, reached out to them, uh, especially with tomorrow being uh, Jackie Robinson Day? Um. I haven't reached out to anyone on the Dodgers team, but I, I'm, Willie knows a couple of those guys, so I, I would have to think that probably he's had a conversation with probably Mookie, uh, with Mookie Betts. So um, I, I have not, so I can't really speak on that. Evan, last one. Tony, how awkward is it to have to be in this position and answer these questions? Well. It's really not that awkward for me. Um, you know, it, it's just it's the reality of, of where we are. And the, re, the, the fact that we have to answer questions and, and have a, a situation like this, not just with me and you guys, but this is going on across the league, it just tells us that we, we have an issue and we have a problem in our country uh, that we need to address and uh, that we need to shed light on and hopefully that we can overcome it and get to a level to where there's a mutual respect uh, for human life and for, and for human beings regardless of the color of their skins. And uh, we have a lot of work to do, uh, but I think it's necessary. Uh, what's happening, uh, it's necessary for change and you know, it's not gonna be easy. Um, so it's really not that uncomfortable, I, I'm, I'm actually, Grateful to even have the opportunity to to do this.